Well, hey there, everyone. How are you doing? All right. I just want to say welcome to part one for my walkthrough for Amy. Um, I went ahead and downloaded this from the PSN store before I actually looked up any reviews for it. Not the smartest move in hindsight. This game got pretty all around awful reviews. Um, anyway, that doesn't mean you guys can't enjoy it. So um, we're going to go ahead and we're going to give it a shot anyway, I think, because uh, I've been looking for a horror game. And bad news, the Silent Hill Downpour isn't actually going to be released over here in Ireland until it's going to be the 30th of this month now. So um, And I've got a wedding that day. And that's going to go on for the whole weekend, so even if I do get Silent Hill Downpour, it's going to be a while before I even get any videos uploaded. So in the meantime, I bought this, it only cost me like $9.99 or something, just to get you know, the horror juices flowing. Um, I, I, I can't, don't really say this scaring me too much. Anyway, like I said, if, uh, it might not be the best game, but you might enjoy it. So uh, please give this video a like, and uh, leave a comment, let me know what you think of the series if you want to see more, even though I understand if you won't. And uh, yeah, just a little experimentation. Okay, I think we're pretty much, pretty much ready to get the ball rolling here. Let's do it, Amy. Bit of a jittery frame rate, isn't it? Snowball's chance in hell of getting a call through, ma'am. Excuse me? Tickets, please. Oh, yes. Uh, here you are, sir. A cold winter. I thought the planet was supposed to be heating up. I think we have a few centuries before we'll need to be wearing shorts in December. <laughs> now, how are you, little princess? Have you been good? Because the big red sleigh driver's coming tonight. Santa Claus, Miss Kring, Father Christmas. She's verbally challenged. Uh, she can't speak, but she's really looking forward to Christmas. No day off at that age. We'll be at Silver City Station in five minutes. You have a good day now. We will. Thank you. And Merry Christmas. Amy, don't be afraid. He was just checking on us to see if we're okay. He does seem right. like a nice guy. It's Christmas Eve. I have a present for you. It's the latest thing. It should be even better than the pencils and crayons you had at the Phoenix Center. I... Oh, Amy. It's nothing. You're... You're never going back to the Center. I promise. I'm taking you somewhere safe. Hello? Alana, I've been worried. Did you get out? Yes, both of us. We're in the train. We'll be there soon. So, how is she? She's... I'm not sure. Same symptoms, fatigue, insomnia. But she's distant. It's getting worse. Lana, I'm calling you from the best hospital within a thousand kilometers. We've got everything we need to run a complete checkup. We'll figure it out. We'll know what's going on, and we can confront Professor Raymond with... Listen! She's with me now! We're not confronting anyone. He won't touch her again. I'm coming to you to help her get better. Are we clear on that? Of course, Lana. I'm with you. When you get to the hospital, go through the parking garage. The badges I gave you won't work anywhere. But I don't want to take any chances with your coming through the front lobby. The professor has eyes that see far beyond the center. Do you have the security badges? Lana? Are you there? Yes, Ellen, I'm here, but... What? What is it, Amy? <gasps> what was that? Did you see it? I saw an explosion from my window! Near the Phoenix Center! Lana... You didn't... No! We just left! I saw something on fire just fly over us, an airplane, maybe. Ellen... I think Amy... Oh, he seems so nice. Moral of the story, don't judge a book by its color. A 
end of line, Silver City Station. Please do not forget any personal belongings on the train. Do not agree to carry luggage for a stranger. Be wary of pickpockets. Have a nice day. Okay, so straight into the gameplay. Um, well, all right. Let me just Amy. say welcome to Amy. And uh, let's just see how this goes, shall we? we? Need to find her. Um, I know it hasn't gotten great reviews, but um, I don't like other people telling me about you know what a whole game is. I like to just play it Amy. myself and make my own Amy, opinion. Amy, where are you? And uh, it wouldn't be the first time that I have actually enjoyed a game that's gotten bad reviews. Um, I don't know. There's something about them I just enjoy. The ones that get bad reviews are generally trying to do something different from every other game out there, which I uh, which I think is why I like to play them. That's why I enjoy them so much. Um. Alright, that train instructor was very misleading. I thought he was a nice, friendly guy, and what does he do? He turns a demon and punches me in the head. Completely unnecessary. Alright, I get the feeling that's the right way to go, maybe. So I'm just gonna head back here and take a look around the train. Um, but yeah, like I said, the gameplay and everything isn't meant to be fantastic in this game. But that does not mean you can't enjoy the series. And, uh, oh, hello, Mr. Conductor Man. I'm gonna pick up the stick, but you stay right there, alright? I don't want you to move. Stay. Atta boy. <laughs> I was waiting for him to lunge up and attack me. <laughs> yeah. Alright, no matter what the no matter what game I'm playing, it always it always freaks me out. Alright, I'm just gonna have to try and get a feel for the controls a little little bit here. What the hell was that? I saw something in the background. Better not be you, demon instructor. Kind of afraid to go out and check. Alright, whatever it was, it's gone now. Okay, can't unlock this and- ah oh, crap, I didn't mean to inject whatever that was into my neck. And maybe I can- I don't know. Well, he's still in the corner. That that at least is good. That that comforts me. That gives me some bit of peace. Peace of mind. Um, Alright, I suppose we're meant to head to the other end of the train, I guess. I'm just waiting for that guy to attack me from behind. So I'm gonna full sprint it. We're gonna run like crazy. And if he wants me, he's just the bitch is gonna have to come catch me now, isn't he? All right, herp derp, then we go. Jesus, that zombie gave me—he actually jumped a little bit there when he came out. <laughs> he scared me more than you know, he has any right to scare any man. Oh crap! Well, that was amazingly easy. I mean, I was expecting him to put up a bit more of a fight, take more than one hit to the head. Oh, the sound of Amy running on the floor. Uh, at least in the headset, it's for, it's very um, it's very loud. It's misleading. It makes you think that something else is there too. <laughs> All right. So the reason I downloaded this is because I really wanted to get a horror game on my channel. Like I know I have Dead Space and Dead Space 2, but like. I wanted more of a horror game, you know, for in Dead Space and Dead Space 2. Isaac is more than capable of defending himself. He has a whole arsenal. What I wanted was a game where it's survival horror, I guess, is the best way. Hey, come on, I was pulling you. Come on. Ah, I get you. Look at those muscles. You're so big and strong. Actually, you know something? There is no logical explanation for why a woman of Amy's size, uh, not Amy, this is Lana, Lana's size here was able to pull crates that heavy. I mean, a muscle-bound giant man would probably struggle to pull those. She didn't even break a sweat. Oh, hello. Come on a little closer. Oh, a two-hitter. You're a lot tougher than the last guy. That's what I can crouch to. Alright, so I'm just pressing random buttons just to see what happens. Um, because I never really... This is literally, this is blind for me. This is more of a let's play than a walkthrough. Um, I pretty much just dove straight into it. So that's locked in. So we're getting in there. Oh crap, I can hear growling. Oh hey there, good looking. How you doing? Give me a hug. A little closer. There we go. This is how I hug people now. Oh crap. Oh shit, he swiped me. Oh crap, he swiped me again. I'm gonna have to. There we go. Alright, so the dodging. It's uh. It's not the worst. She just only has really one dodge, you know, she can only dodge one in direction, one step backwards. So, uh, just know that if I get hoarded, or if there's more than one guy, then it's gonna, we're gonna have some issues with this. I guess there's more emphasis on stealth in this game than, uh, oh no, balls to the wall action. That's not really my style. 
Anyone who's been watching my videos knows that anytime I try to be stealthy, the shit hits the fan. It hits the fan and splatters all over the room. Nothing good comes from me being stealthy. But, uh... Jeez, shooting up like a junkie, Lana. Control yourself. Alright, so, my inventory... Okay. Not really completely sure where I'm meant to be going. This is why all games should have a guide arrow. Every single game should come with a guide arrow attached. It's just, uh... <laughs> necessary. Uh, Bioshock had me spoiled with uh, basically telling me exactly step for step where I had to go. Alright, we got some dead bodies in here. Which, to be honest with you, that was very rapid response time, considering that the train crash probably happened maybe, I'm going to guess about an hour at the maximum. <laughs> that was a rapid response time, and they did that while being attacked by monsters. So, uh, yeah, that is impressive. Come on, let me in. Be cool. I'll be your friend. I suppose Amy's no hacker. I see a fence down that way. You know something? The way to go is... Oh, I just heard glass, but I bet that was Amy's high heels. Alright. I know for a fact that the right way to go is glaringly obvious. It's right there in front of me. I, just being the asshole that I am, I'm refusing to see it. Maybe I just run down this way and... Oh! Hello. Well, <laughs> that was, that this can only be described as a glaringly obvious solution. Um, I'm an idiot, I missed it, my bad, my bad, hopefully you won't hold the grudge against me. Um, I don't really see this series getting a whole lot of views if I'm being completely honest with you, so if you guys could press the like button, um, even just to help you get one or two more views, just I don't really have high hopes for this series, it's more of a distraction for me, just a little horror distraction to play for, um, I got my hands on something a bit juicier. Um, I'm, I really am pissed off about Silent Hill Downpour being set back until the end of the month. Because, um, oh, Jesus, I, I expected that to happen. <laughs> it still caught me off guard. But, um, Amy, 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 it's me, is there someone there? Lana. Hello, you're not a little girl. Over here. Who are you fooling? Alright, I guess I meant to go around and talk to him a little closer. Hey there, Missy. You sure look healthy. Except maybe for the cuts and bruises. I'm okay. I'm not gonna hurt you. I need to find a little girl. Have you seen anyone? You're the first normal person I've seen in hours. Uh, where did you lose her? She was on the train with me. That train that came crashing in here full of monsters? You look like you hit your head there, miss. You sure you was traveling with a little girl? I need to find her. Her name is Amy. Help me. Or hide. I'm gonna find her. My name's Marcello. I, I can help you. I was just heading to the station monitoring office. The cell network's down. But I'm sure they got some fixed lines over there we can use to call somebody. I got a pal. Or I hope I still got a pal that works there. Maybe your little girl went that way. Just help me look for Amy. That is exactly what he just said he would do. <laughs> yeah, the feeling Lana here is a bit of a bitch. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, I am really pissed off about Silent Hill Downport being set back till the 30th. Hey, essentially nice because, you know, really it's been out in America for a while now and everything. So pretty much any commentator outside of Europe will pretty much have the game done by the time I get my hands on it. So I'm really starting to wonder if it's worth it, if it's worth my while getting my hands on it. I did get my hands on another horror game. I, need to find a way to cut the I, uh, I bought it on the PSN store and it's a doozy. It's, meant to, it's, uh, it's actually it's a horror game I've wanted to play for a while. I just never really had the courage. So what I'm thinking is, I might leave off Silent Hill down for. I fully intend on getting Operation Raccoon Amy, City next week. Come out, come um, out, wherever you are. So that's your kind of action horror. And then I think I'm going to just stick with um, that other game. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you what it is. I kind of want it to be a little bit of a surprise. Um, I'm gonna stick with that for my survival horror, cause um, damn. Yeah, I mean, send until down for. Here, take this. It's a DNA cracker. Start by scanning the box with it. Will do. Like I don't know, it just pisses me off how they uh, that takes up an unnecessary large amount of my screen. Yeah, I just it pisses me off how um. Okay. Look at the DNA dots on the radar that light up. You need to scan them to find the right sample. Let's go. I'll follow you. 
Right, Just Tanner, go you're clearly not that. a scientist. How the hell do you know these things? Go and by the, what you're dressed, I'd say you're a taxi driver. But, um... Yeah, I don't know why game yeah. developers think it's a good idea to basically Action. screw Europe Kick over and give us games like two weeks later Sports after they've been in America. It surely can't be that hard. As far as I know, the PS3 isn't regional infection. specific. So, um... It shouldn't really be a problem getting them to us. Anyway, let's get the crap out of this guy. Bleep! It's not the right one. Let's go look in some more. Marcello, I'm not gonna lie, I don't fully understand what I'm doing. <laughs> I'll try and work it out as I go. 